Hey everyone, have you ever encountered the embarrassment of a machine overheating and stopping at a critical moment? It could be your radiator that's causing the trouble. If something goes wrong, it can cause your equipment to fail when you need it the most. So what causes a radiator to fail? It could be low on coolant, could be clogged radiator, or it may have reached retirement age. These issues will cause your machine to overheat, increase the risk of downtime. Therefore, a suitable radiator is definitely a best partner for your device. Next, let's talk about how to choose a radiator that suits you to ensure your equipment always runs efficiently. So number one, you need to understand your equipment requirements. So we have the model and specifications. You wanna confirm the specific model of your tractor or excavator. The heat dissipation requirements of each model may be different. And number two, we wanna check compatibility. So the first thing is the dimensions, your length, your width, the thickness, make sure the radiator's physical dimension actually fit the device's installation space. Number two is mounting hole spacing. So measure the location and the distance of the mounting holes to ensure they match the device's mounting frame. And number three, we have interface type, your inlet and your outlet dimensions. Confirm the inlet and outlet diameters and thread types to connect with the device's piping system. Number four, we have interface location. Make sure the interface location is aligned with your device's piping system to avoid interference during installation. Number five, mounting location, space constraints. So we wanna check the available space inside the device to ensure the radiator does not interfere with other components. Number six, we're looking at ventilation conditions. Make sure the installation location has adequate ventilation for optimal heat dissipation. Next, you want to make sure to choose the right material. So heat sinks are usually made of aluminum or copper. Aluminum heat sinks are lightweight and economical, while copper heat sinks have better thermal conductivity, but they're slightly more expensive. Next, consider heat dissipation performance and efficiency. So check the heat dissipation power and efficiency indicators of the radiator to ensure the device can maintain optimal temperature under high load. Then look at fans and flow. Some radiators are equipped with fans. Make sure the fans air volume and the quietness meet the requirements. Then number five, we're looking at after sales service. So you wanna check your warranty terms, confirm the warranty period and coverage, Good after-sales service can provide timely support when there are problems with the product. Then technical support, we wanna choose a supplier that provides technical support to help solve problems encountered during your installation and use. If you're not sure how to choose, you can always consult our mechanical engineers, our equipment technicians, who can provide professional advice based on your specific needs. Ensuring the efficient operation of your equipment depends not only on the right purchase, but also on ongoing maintenance. Below, we'll share some key maintenance tips to help you extend the life of your radiator and keep your equipment performing at its best in a variety of environments. So number one, regular cleaning. Use a low pressure water or an air compressor to remove the dust and debris from the radiator surface to maintain good heat dissipation. Number two, check the coolant. Check the coolant levels and quality regularly to ensure it has antifreeze and anti-rust properties and replace it at the recommended intervals. Number three, monitor the temperature. Check the accuracy of the temperature sensor, ensure the radiator is operating within the optimal temperature range, and ensure that the overheating alarm system is functioning properly. Number four, check and replace parts. So regularly check the status of the seals, the hoses, the fans, the motors, replace worn or faulty parts in time. By taking these maintenance measures, you can not only protect your investment, but also ensure the stable operation of the equipment under various working conditions. So I hope these suggestions can help you in your daily operations. Well, that's all for today. I hope this information can help you better choose, maintain your radiator so that your machine will not fall behind at critical moments. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, share it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.